And the biggest game of the hour finally released, Final Fantasy 16. And man, oh man, have I been seeing everyone go crazy about this game, good and bad. And here, we're going to be talking about both, maybe more so the bad stuff. Because the bad things about this game that people are saying are honestly the dumbest points I've ever heard in my life when it comes to video games. It's like nothing can ever change for the better. And when we do do that stuff, we do make these things, these movements to actually go forward and get a better game. Then we're going to have people always wanting to push the game back and hold it in their cold, dead, slimy gamer fingers. Just like this arrogant Polygon reviewer who thinks they're good at video games because they turn on all the accessibility options and play the game in easy and expect the game not to play itself. Wow, that's fucking crazy. You want to shit on a game for playing the game mode that is made entirely for people to just enjoy the story? So that these same shitty reviewers, just like the one reviewer who reviewed Final Fantasy VII Remake's demo and said the demo was too hard, they put the options to help these shitty ass gamers in the fucking game, and now they're gonna shit on the game for it? How hypocritical and stupid. God damn, could gaming reviewers be any more pathetic? Getting played to play a video game, and you're gonna actually try and shit on a game for putting options to help their sorry asses in the game if you guys can definitely leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and watch this video all the way to the end i would really appreciate you guys hearing out my thoughts and with that being said we got the final fantasy purists not liking the gameplay at all because they all want turn-based gameplay and to be honest there are plenty of other games that you can turn to when it comes to that entire opinion you got Dragon Quest, Octopath Traveler, you have SMT. I think SMT probably has some of the best turn-based gameplay I played in a JRPG. If you like strictly turn-based gameplay, that is a must. And even then, the series, from what I know, hasn't had turn-based gameplay since Final Fantasy XII. And I'm not even going to hold you. I may not be the biggest Final Fantasy fan. To be honest, I don't even really like Final Fantasy all that much. I played Final Fantasy VII, I played VII Remake, and I played XV. But when it comes to this statement about the game staying the same and being turn-based, for starters, this is one thing I really don't like when it comes to video games because there are people who are going to want gameplay to be one way and people who are going to want gameplay to be another. But when it comes to me, I really just got to compare this to Sonic. You know, you have 2D Sonic games, and then you have the 3D Sonic games. You know, both are drastically different in gameplay, but they still have the same characters and the same kind of style. But at the end of the day, one of these gameplays ends up actually holding the game back. And let's be honest, if Final Fantasy wasn't turn-based for its entirety of all of the games, it would be way bigger because honestly, who still wants to just watch their character stand there and press a button rather than actually taking a part of the action actually being Cloud swinging his sword, actually being Clive going and doing crazy combos. You know, actually playing a game instead of turning it into some remedial tedious task of grinding and reading. And with 16 games, it's only a matter of time for Final Fantasy to change things up because if it didn't, people would just be like, oh, it's that same Final Fantasy over and over again. You just can't win with these people, man. To be honest, I can't really wrap my head around the hate to this game because a lot of it, I'm not going to hold you, it looks really good and I feel like a lot, a lot of the mainstream gaming audience can actually take this game in and enjoy it, especially with so much crazy action happening on the screen and actually being involved in it. The blood, the gore might be a turnoff for some people, but honestly, I think this gives Final Fantasy 16 a lot more value in comparison to other Final Fantasy games because Unlike the other games, it allows it to stand out, and not only that, but it makes it so that it's not just another Final Fantasy game. You can remember the game for being something different, and that is the point of the series passing the torch down to so many different creators. The combat definitely looks amazing, and I just don't know why people would want that to be stripped away from the game. It's really sad because it has such a different feel and look to the gameplay, so much so to a point that it makes it so that the game itself is reaching a new pinnacle of experience for every single fucking player. And that is one thing that I got 
to praise the game for because its gameplay honestly looks like some of the best action combat in a while wanting to play a game and not wanting to be able to actually beat Efrit and punching the shit out of phoenix in the face and you're gonna just choose to watch a little fucking cutscene by pressing x to hit attack you're people are you guys actually want that over actually playing as Efrit and catching a body oh fuck no there's something wrong with y'all and when it comes to crazy opinions, it only gets worse. People are just finding a way to complain about everything. Even about shit that shouldn't even have anything to do with the video game. And do you know who brought this to my attention? Polygon, so kudos to them, right? Polygon must really be looking for some new clicks in these damn articles. Especially the one bitching about diversity in the game. I'm sorry, if you're playing games for diversity, go ahead and just play fucking Overwatch. Because not every game needs to appeal to something. Not everything has to involve ethnics. Can I just get a game with swords, dragons, and some blood, man? Is that too much to ask for? We have people saying, I'm not buying it. To be completely honest, knowing that Starfield and Dragon's Dogma are coming with black characters and black character creation makes it really easy to skip Final Fantasy 16. For Spoke is mediocre, but Frey being a good character helps a bit. I'm good. So because characters in a video game all share the same ethnicity, while not having the ethnicities of people in real life, that's a problem? Like, like we haven't had black characters in Final Fantasy before? So going by this logic, we can buy Final Fantasy VII Remake, even though it's damn near the same game as 16, but we're gonna buy 7 Remake because Barrett is in the game because he's black. Are you kidding me? So people are gonna try and shit and try and shame the developers of the game for not having black characters when we're sitting here not buying the games because a specific race is not in a game. Man, oh man, I wish these people who were buying games simply because of the skin colors of characters would have been around when Prototype 2 released or Starhawk because maybe those companies wouldn't have went off the fucking radar. But that's besides the point. Why are we making a big deal out of the races of fictional fucking characters at all? How does not having a specific race in the game make the game racist i'm black i'm gonna state that before i get thrown the racist card but the craziest thing to me is is the very fact that there aren't any indians and i damn sure don't see any asians in the game and the game is made by japanese people what we come to a point to where we're shitting on video games for not having skin colors in them what the fuck Oh my god. <laughs> I, I will say this, right? You know, there's nothing wrong with diversity. It's cool. But not every game has to make some kind of social message or have to include a group of people that just want to be in a game just for the sake of being in a game. Because they created a world where giant fucking monsters are going around killing people in castles. The very last thing anyone is thinking about, especially me too, is the fucking skin of a person. It's just crazy how people are going to sit here and try and act like the creators of Final Fantasy are racist. Just because a race of real people isn't in a video game. We have so many people with different ethnicities coming together and playing this game. And so many of them are not giving a fuck about the skin of the characters in the game because it doesn't matter and it shouldn't and if you're thinking about that while you're being put into a world where you're jumping around and killing monsters then maybe you're playing the wrong game or maybe you need to think a little bit about yourself honestly once again i love my skin color i love being black but ethnicity skin color should not be used to weaponize a creative vision at the end of the day I guess I'm just gonna stop playing Mario because there aren't any fucking black people in the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, but we'll roll with that, right? Stop playing Mario, everybody. It's just a very weird double standard. Like, if this was a Final Fantasy game that wasn't just a bunch of white people, if it was any other race, guess what? Everyone would just shut the fuck up and eat that shit. At this point, fuck the skin color. The game 
is actually just going to be a fun amazing experience and we as players with different skin colors can all come together and enjoy it like i can relate to clive as a character i don't need him to be black for me as a black guy to understand his struggles and why he's doing what he's doing in the story if that matters in the slightest to you i honestly don't know what to say but yeah this is the last thing i thought i was going to talk about when it came to this game and you have a bunch of people just shitting on the story saying oh i've seen this story in another game before yada yada you know just because other games or s series or anything else in fiction has done that same thing that shouldn't take away from what final fantasy 16 does as a whole i've only seen what the demo has to offer i haven't i don't know the rest of the story i haven't finished the game but what i will say is you know liking a story is subjective all right what anyone could think to be a bad story i could think to be one of the best stories ever made and i'm not gonna hold you what i saw in that demo i liked a lot the very beginning that look, that looked amazing and that looked like a crazy story beat if you ask me i enjoyed what i saw so i'm not gonna listen to all of this bullshit everyone else online is saying fuck that but yeah i think this is gonna wrap up a lot of my thoughts honestly reviewers fuck them they just spout nothing but nonsense all the time these are the same people who are bitching about games being too hard then they're just gonna be the same people that are gonna bitch about them being too easy the next day and not only that these are also the same people that cannot double jump in fucking cuphead why are, why is anyone going to listen to someone who can't double jump in a video game one of the easiest tasks pressing a button twice <laughs> you can't make this shit up man but we play these video games to feel something experience something and go into a new world and if you're gonna let a gameplay improvement for the better and a story that some people might not appreciate a race of a character that doesn't exist take that away from you then go right ahead but at the end of the day it's gonna have fun gameplay and be a damn good game and it's gonna have gameplay that has been better than most of everything that you've been playing up until now i don't even like final fantasy all that much but i just gotta be honest Shout out to Roku, Jacob, and Eugene. At the end of the day, the game is just going to be a good-ass game, and nothing is going to change that.